Two climbers came face to face with a grizzly bear and lived to tell about it. They were climbing in Kananaskis. One of the men got away, but the bear grabbed the other. He is now recovering from his injuries. Chris Epp joins us now from Banff with the rest of the story. So Chris, take us through what happened. This happened late on Sunday. Two ice climbers from the UK were attempting to climb Mount Wilson. According to a blog they've written, the climbers say they were bushwhacking at one point when they stumbled across a grizzly bear. It just came tearing right towards them. One of the climbers fell down. The grizzly jumped on him, bit right into his leg. We'll show you some photos of that, how deeply those teeth got there. He was in a lot of pain, terrified they both were. They managed to fight off the bear, at least briefly, and take off. So the two climbers managed to get away from the bear, but then they say they got themselves lost and spent an hour trying to find their way back to where, how they got up there in the first place. Parks Canada says they're lucky. This, this could have been a lot worse um, when you come face to face with the grizzly and end up with just an injured leg. You're actually, you know, probably doing okay. They also say people have to remember there's a lot of precautions to take when you're in the wilderness during the winter. The message we want to send to people is more that they should be prepared to encounter wildlife at any time during the year uh, and in any place. Um, so we want to make sure that people are taking the precautions that we're, we're asking them to do. Now, the climbers uh, say they're not yet ready to talk about this publicly, though they have posted a lot of photos and been blogging about this, but uh, one of their friends tells CTV that they're still pretty traumatized by this whole thing. Meanwhile, Parks Canada has some information, some, some uh, estimates really about, about the background of the bear here. They say it almost certainly was a grizzly. And they also say this grizzly may have never even encountered humans before. It was very startled as well, which is why the attack probably wasn't worse. It wasn't being aggressive, it was being defensive. So if you go to Mount Wilson, that, there's a, a large section that's just close to the public uh, through the spring. They want to make sure that that bear has its space and that people stay away from it until, until the spring when the bear is awake and moves on again. All right, Chris, thank you.